Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna talk about the news that got released in-game this morning. So basically, the Syria NT Free Edition. Uh, this is a little celebration that they're gonna do in-game and also if you guys are playing the Syria, they're doing the same thing on uh, the uh, mobile app. So basically what we're gonna do, have, we're gonna have a free daily summon so this is really really cool uh this game is free to play now on ps4 and also on steam so if you guys have a computer and you want to play on steam go for it download it for free uh this is really cool since we're getting a free daily summon and uh free summons are always nice to have so don't forget to do this warning you don't forget to do this then we're gonna move on to the next one rewards wheel update so basically spring reward wheels player can spin the wheel for a chance to win free lapis during during the event period get up to 200 lapis in the single spin so this is also really really nice since we're able to uh get it uh, get our hands maybe on a little bit more lapis for free so this will start on thursday march 14 and basically end on uh march 28 then we're gonna move on to the next one with the final fantasy 3 event uh a new high leaf difficult quest doga's grotto exploration so this will be live on friday uh march 15 and we'll go all the way up to march 22nd so une and doga right here oh man they're not looking pretty that's for sure so here's some info for you kupo bring a unit that can guard against powerful magic attack so magic cover tank uh the bosses are vulnerable to defense and spirit reduction so you guys will be able to deal even more damage to them and prepare methods of removing status effects such as dispel so make sure your party somebody in there as dispel to be able to dispel them then mission rewards we're gonna go right here we're gonna get a five percent moogle which is always nice uh completion rewards complete the quest eureka key magic and spirit plus 20 boost fire water wind and earth resistance by 20 percent so that elemental resistance is always always nice since you guys can put that on your tank magic cover tank or even your healers or anybody just to make sure that you guys can survive if uh, the enemy is doing um, magic attacks with element. I forgot the word. Uh, so yeah, defeat Une with a limit burst. You guys will get 10,000 fangs of earth. Uh, defeat Doga with magic. Wind resistance 20%, which is a materia, which is always really, really nice. And party of five or less. I feel like we haven't seen this one in a while. Party of five or less. No, the last one was... Uh, was it the one for, uh, I think it was the one for, uh, Kingdom Hearts. Well, anyway, party of five or less, you get another 5% Moogle, which is always nice. So right here is your chance to get 10% Moogle in total. So we will be ready for that on Friday. Then we're going to go right here. There's a new story event coming out this, uh, Friday. So, uh, be ready because the good old... CG Sid is coming out, but let's go over the story event taking to the skies on Friday This will go live. So obviously you guys will be getting lapis uh, You're gonna be able to get some tickets. Let me uh, lower this music just a little bit because I feel like it's a little too high There you go All right, we're gonna go right back here. So get various rewards. So obviously you guys can get lapis uh, some tickets also the crisps to make sure that you guys are gonna be able to get a little bit more in there so make sure you do farm that and make sure you do get to the end because that's so at the end you'll be able to get the bonus stages which will give you even more crisps and uh yeah that's always good so let's go over the next one unit intro quest cg sid don't forget to do that since you're going to be able to get your hands on uh two rare summon tickets and maybe those two rare summon tickets will give you the unit so uh clear the quest 100 lapis use a limit burst obviously you're gonna use his just to see how beautiful it looks you're gonna get a rare seven ticket use sky charge mini power pot three and use clear blue you're gonna get one star quartz and uh with that said let's go over to the banner right here i gotta say the background looks amazing there so sid we're gonna have meleti nag nagflar and falma step up banner uh, a little bit different Instead of using 11k, uh, instead of being a 11k step up, uh, it's gonna be a 12k step up. So on the first one, 500 lapis, uh, you have a 1.5 times rate up for Sid. It's one summon. On the step two, 2,000, uh, 2,000, a thousand lapis, you get two summon with a guaranteed 5% Moogle. On step three, 2,000 lapis, you get four summons. 
and a two times rate up on uh, five star Sid. Then on step four, 3,500 Lapis, seven summons, a 10% uh, Moogle is guaranteed. And on the last step, which is really, really nice, a uh, nine plus one plus one, which is a five star guaranteed. So on the last step, you guys basically get a five star guaranteed unit and it's a five times rate up on Sid. So if you guys do make it to the end of 12,000 Lapis, well, you're going to be guaranteed a 5-star unit. And also, you're going to get a 5 times rate up on Sid. So here's your chance to pull the unit even more. Uh, do I like that? Absolutely. This is worth it. So if you guys are chasing this unit and you're a big uh, CG Sid fan or just a Dragoon fan, go for it. That step up is actually really, really worth it since you are guaranteed a rainbow at the end. Which is really nice because it does suck when you do an 11k step up. And you are not guaranteed a five-star unit. So, let's go over Sid right here. Uh, obviously, he's uh, going to be all attack. He's a, a dragoon jumper. His jump abilities are really strong. He's going to be able to be uh, to give some imperil to win to the enemy, and also he's going to be able to break the enemy in some of their uh, stats. So, super trust master. We got the sky feather. Attack 175, Wind Elemental, and it's a two-handed weapon. It's a spear, which is really, really nice since you put that on him. Uh, he's going to be able to do a lot of damage, guys. Is With his jump abilities, he can do a lot of damage. So, Trust Master Reward, Heroes Vow Wind. Uh, boost Equipment Attack when it, a single weapon is equipped in both hands. Boost Damage for Jump Attacks and Boost LB Gauge Fill Rate. Thank you very much. This is really nice to put on him. And Featured Abilities. Sky Dragon Squall, uh, once one use every four turns, enable all allies to evade some physical attacks one time and change effects of down force, aerial shot, gale grid, and uh, spine shake, spine shader, shade, spine shade, dive zero plus next turn. All right, I hope I read this right because it doesn't sound like what I'm saying right here. So this is actually a really nice move. Then he has air status. Uh, restore HP and MP and fills own uh, own LB gauge and leap into the air then attacks on the next turn So basically he's gonna jump up recover some HP recover some MP He's gonna boost his own LB gauge and the next turn he's gonna jump down BAM He's gonna do some damage and also make sure that he's getting everything back up for him Then he's got, he has down force reduce attack and defense for one enemy Leap into the air then attack one enemy next turn when activated. This is actually really really good if I read this right So basically you're gonna be able to call it down So he's gonna jump up then you decide if you want to do a chain You're gonna decide exactly when he comes down Hopefully this I'm reading it right and if that's the case this is gonna be really really good then Melody basically MP She's really high right there. She's a four star going into six star uh, Artistics it's a materia. That's her trust master Boost magic by 30% and reduce MP consumed for abilities by 10%. This is actually not that bad. Not that bad. If you guys get plenty of her, you can always get that TMR. Uh, since that MP consumed for 10 less. Not that bad. Since uh, in the 7 star meta, a lot of units basically tend to burn through their MP really, really fast. Uh, so this is actually not that bad. Like I said. Featured abilities. High speed sketch. Restore MP for all allies except self. And enable random special ability to be used one time. Those who fight boost SPR and gradually restore MP for all allies and the front line boost defense and gradually restore HP for all allies. Uh, obviously if you guys get her, getting her to 6 star, uh, you could do that. She's not going to be the best, but that TMR, like I said, go for it. And uh, that's the thing with those new characters guys in the 7 star meta, you're getting a lot of 4 star going to 6 stars. They're not that great. Some of them are good. But most of them are just there to be there. Then we're going to go 3 star to 5 star. Uh, this little man right here, Nagflar, he's a dwarf. That's actually really good. Since you guys are going to... Oh no, he's actually a 4 star. Sorry, I read that wrong. 4 star going to 6 star. Uh, he's actually not that bad. That TMR, if you guys don't have a good helm. So let's say you don't have a Toning Dragoon Cane with his helm. Uh, if you didn't get uh, Genji... Uh, Gilgamesh, if you didn't get his Super TMR, which is also an Elm, uh, if you guys didn't get, what's her name, uh, Eileen, if you guys don't have her Super TMR, uh, this is actually not that bad, that Attack 34 and Defense 37 is also really, really nice to have, so if you get, if you guys go pull multiple of him, go for that TMR, put that on your Physical Attacker, because this is really good, and you get Nullify Confusion, which is also really, really, really great. Then our last one, our 3-star going into five star uh 
right here. Falma, or Trustmaster reward is actually the thing that you need for CG Sid if you guys want to put it on her. So accessory, attack 30 and enables dreams of flight, boost damage for jump attack. So that's going to be able to make your jump attack do even more damage. And it's actually raw stats, so that's really good. I have nothing else to say on that. This is actually really, really nice. And since you're going to be pulling a lot of her, I'm pretty sure if you do the 12k step up, you are going to be pulling a lot of her. And uh, this DMR is actually not that bad. Now, the real question. Should you pull on this banner? Uh, absolutely. If you're a big fan of CG Sid or you're a big fan of Dragoons, go for it. And if not, uh, just do the daily or do one or two steps of the, the first three steps. It's only 3,500. And uh, do the first three steps, you might get a chance of getting Sid. His TMR is actually really, really good for himself. Uh, he's a good unit, he's gonna be able to do a lot of damage. The only thing is, uh, again, with finishers, they take a little bit longer to build up. Uh, he can sustain most of the stuff by himself, just by being able to jump, him, jump into the air, restore his own HP, MP, uh, he can evade some attacks and all that good stuff. Other than that, uh, it goes down to you. If you guys love the unit, if you guys want that unit, go for it. Uh, for me, I might just do the first three steps, put a little bit of tickets into it, but not more than that because I'm not a big Dragoon fan. Uh, yes, they look cool. A CG uh, movie is really, really nice. But uh, other than that, uh, I, I want to keep my stuff for better units when they come out because when Axtar comes out, guys... And I'm putting everything into that dude because he's going to be really, really strong. So if you guys want to pull for it, go for it. If you guys don't want to pull for him, don't pull for him. He's always going to be in the summon pool. So you guys can do whatever you want when it comes to that. On that note, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like down below. Let me know if you guys are going to pull for him. And if you do, good luck. And on that note, guys, please subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.